Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a super fun video for you guys. I am sure you know that all of the fall winter collections are starting to hit the stores and I started seeing all of these amazing gorgeous bags coming out. So I decided to do all of the homework for you and get a roundup of all of the most beautiful bags that are hitting stores. We have everything here guys. I have Chanel, I have Louis Vuitton, I have Fendi, I have Gucci and I am sure you're gonna find some eye candy here and potentially the next bag on your wish list so I have so much to talk about this is gonna be a super fast fashion style video because I have a lot of ground to cover so let's go ahead and get started why not get started with Chanel right let's go ahead and start at the top you guys so this first bag right here is absolutely my favorite new bag from Chanel I have more Chanel coming for you guys but this one is really my absolute top pick this is a Chanel Minaudier and it costs $4,800 so you know it's a little bit more high up there because it's more of a specialty piece but this is a more structured bag they're so beautiful you can wear them at night to go out if you want to look fancy with a dress or you can do like a casual look super compact for traveling and oh my lord this is what dreams are made of now a little bit of Louis Vuitton the Capuchins bags are one of my favorite bags of the entire Louis Vuitton collection this is a Capuchins with a special touch there is actually flowers and these are metallic so real metal flowers like hardware that are adorning the top of the front of the bag I thought this was such a classy beautiful touch add a little bit of sparkle and shine you know to one of their staple styles and the price on this one is $5,600 and before I move on to the next bag I had to share this with you look at the strap that is the same style as the bag this one is $1,100 I feel like Louis Vuitton is finally stepping up their game and bringing us some fun the next three bags I'm gonna show you are all exclusive to Neiman Marcus these are Gucci bags they are velvet they are the Marmont bags which are ultra hot right now you guys know I am a sucker for embroideries I am a sucker for detail and I thought these were gorgeous these cost $2,700 and you can pick between these three styles and colors all of them equally fabulous next on the list I have some Prada I never thought I would actually consider Prada bags you guys I am NOT a very big fan of Prada bags in general but holy cow I feel like they're really stepping up their game in the hand bag department the first one is this velvet style what I like about it is all of the detailing color and it actually looks really whimsical it's almost like somebody drew it you know and it's like a cartoon photo I just thought this was so smart very high fashion you know the blocks of color are very fun this first one is $4,200 you can wear this with nothing and look fabulous the next one to me looks like a piece of jewelry this is the small city Carrier style trunk bag again velvet I love the jewel tone green this bag actually has some details with gold and actually some green crystals over you know the hardware so classic a little bit of renaissance feel very feminine very rich this one is actually less expensive than the last one $2,220 isn't this gorgeous moving right along to Fendi the next one is a Fendi Con Eye bag I love the Con Eye style again because it's structured I think it's beautiful it's actually a more spacious bag so very very practical so there were two styles that I really really liked this first one I have seen in person and it actually has crystal flowers all over the face of the bag very very sparkly very very feminine and I love the play with colors because I think it makes a little bit easier to match right the price on this one is $32.50 now let's talk about the second one which is a completely different feel for a kanai this one right here is a monster kanai which I think is for those of you who are a little edgier I think this would be fabulous for the boys because I think it's a bag with a masculine touch and because it's black is black it's super neutral I think the monster is such such a cool edgy touch to have on a bag right so this one cost two thousand dollars next one shifting gears we are gonna hit some Dolce Gabbana and this one is the DG Millennials bag 
The detail on this bag is incredible. This one to me takes it to a whole nother level and it's detail with a touch of modern. The price on this bag is $19.95. Look at the bottom of the bag guys. It has all of these metal spikes and it has embellishments on the back of the bag. Sticking with the motif of over the top embellishments, you know, Louis Vuitton is coming up with some styles that I think are pretty out there, which I love. This one is the twist. I think my three top choices for Louis are the twist, the petite male, and the cappuccines. These are the three that I would consider buying. This one has over the top glitz and glamour, sparkly, beautiful detailing on the front. This is a more unique fashion show type of a bag. So this one is $4,700. Now, for those of you that are Givenchy fans, I love the Givenchy Antigona. This bag gets quite a bit of hate. I really do not understand for the life of me why because to me if your fashion sensibility is modern and edgy and streamlined I think the Antigona is the bag for you. This patchwork one is crazy insane gorgeous and it's red which is the color of the season guys. I am doing a video on the upcoming trends for fall and red is a hot hot trend for fall. The price on this bag is $31.90. The next two bags I am absolutely in love with guys. These are Saint Laurent and what drew me to them is actually the color. So the first one is is the Kate bag with the tassel and look at the color of this leather. This is a croc pattern and I just think that the croc pattern in this light ice gray looks so sophisticated with the silver hardware. I in general I think that the gold hardware is more formal more for people that like very classic very old world styles and I think that you know if you go for silver hardware it's typically a younger more modern hipper type of a look and the price on this one is $21.90. Now let me talk about the next one which is the sunset style and Maria hi Maria Maria showed me the sunset style in London when I filmed with her you know a few months ago and I just fell in love it was a bag I had never really noticed or really paid much attention and since I saw it in person with Maria at the Saint Laurent on Bond Street I just fell in love and when I saw this color how gorgeous is this guys and this is such a neutral color you can wear this with anything pretty much and for fall winter people typically go for darker colors a lot of black a lot of dark grays but to me there is nothing more amazing than wearing a white all light gray in winter months I just think it looks so rich you guys so this one is $22.90 now you know Valentino hasn't really done it for me lately guys I think all of the fashion houses are stepping up their game so much not that I think that the styles are not cute They're are cute and pretty but they are not cool enough to make me want to spend my money you know there's so many other things that I like better but I wanted to make sure to include some of the new styles from Valentino and I thought this was one of my favorite ones this is actually a studded clutch I thought it was at least a more modern design how you hold the bag is super cool the studs all in the front of the bag I think make it sparkly make it fun so I pictured this you know for dinner for going out at night and you want to look really fabulous and you won't break the bank guys the price on this is $995 now the next one I wanted to include a bag that didn't cost a ton of money that I thought was really fun in high fashion you know if you are not in a spot in your luxury stairwell right in your luxury journey where you can afford a three thousand four five thousand dollar bag I think there are ways to buy less expensive bags that do not look cheesy to me for example like Michael Kors the monogram Michael Kors bags I don't like those at all guys there are so many other fun ways that you can get into fashion and that you can look stylish without breaking the bank this Karl Lagerfeld clutch is $250 guys this looks like those high-end collectible pieces from Chanel and to me you look like a million bucks wearing this yeah. Balmain is not a fashion house that I usually go for when I think about handbags but I thought Balmain had some really cool handbags this season for those of you who want to own pieces that not everybody has we know Chanel is fabulous but you know Chanel classic pieces are pieces that you see all the time so I wanted to put something here for someone that is a little more modern and wants to really stand out from the crowd 
proud. The first one is the Domain 18 Glove Shoulder Bag. This bag is $1,800 and I think it is very different. The shape of it is very modern. I see this with killer jeans if you're rocking boyfriend jeans if you're rocking skinny jeans this will go with all of that you guys the next one is the renaissance 18 shoulder bag love the two-tone i think red and black is such a rich combination this bag is 1995 dollars and i also love the medallion detail on the front of the bag now let's talk a little bit about new colors for gucci so the sylvie bag has been a staple for alessandro michelle right but this one they launched in orange I thought that there was so cool so out of the box and this one is $28.90 now the next bag is actually my favorite bag from Gucci right now if I had to buy one Gucci bag at this very moment this would be it and it's the Broadway B bag the one that I have on my list is the pink option I really want to add a pink bag to my collection and the detail on this bag to me is out of this world so for this season Gucci launched it in a new color which is the red right we had seen it in pink we had seen it in black and they also had like a super light beige almost white type of a color if you had to ask Erica I want to buy one bag from Gucci which one would you pick this would have been it and the price on it is $29.80 now I have a round of pink for you guys I have three baby pink bags because who doesn't love pink right the first one is actually a Chanel flat bag classic Chanel right this is a bag that is a forever bag if you go with something different than a classic flap you know the classic traditional styles I feel like you look a little bit different than the crowd right the price on this one is $3,100 the next bag is also $3,100 and it's from Louis Vuitton and I am not a big fan of totes guys there are some totes out there that I think are really really beautiful that don't make you look like you're gonna go grocery shopping so nothing wrong with going grocery shopping because I do it all the time and actually FYI I grocery shop at Walmart it's okay so I am people of Walmart guys but a super Walmart is actually the closest thing to my house so it is hilarious we typically grocery shop late at night because our store is open all the time right so sometimes I will go to Walmart oh Chanel Louis Gucci <laughs> walking around at Walmart so hey we all grocery shop you gotta buy food right but so I decided to pick some totes that I would actually consider buying that I think are beautiful and they look stylish so this is the first one and it's from Louis Vuitton and it's the lock me to I love the LV detail on the hardware I love the tassels hanging out I just think they added a touch of pizzazz to something that typically for me is kind of boring which is a tote last pink item on my three pink roundup is this backpack backpacks are hot right now you know I think Chanel was the one that really started with the backpack fever that's going around and I think all the fashion houses followed this one love the detail love the contrast of the pink with the beige and the price on this one is three thousand and fifty dollars another round of three guys so now I'm doing a round of floor bags from Dolce Gabbana Dolce does florals like nobody's business the only thing that I think you have to think about when you're purchasing Dolce Gabbana bags is that some of the Dolce prints are very specific to a collection or a season so if you wear that after that season it kind of looks outdated I try to pick bags that I think will last a lifetime because you know florals are never really going to go out of style but that the print doesn't really say a specific collection these three are all along these lines the the first one is the small Sicily Dauphine bag for $26.75 this bag is out of this world but I think I say that about every Dolce bag the detail flowers on this bag are actually real flowers in 3d that are crystals everywhere that are flowers everywhere the next one is the Lucia shoulder bag for $28.95 if you like flowers and you want a darker bag that will look fabulous in the winter or in the fall with all of your dark outfits I think this one is perfect the last one on my round of floral bags is this one for $31.87 this bag is actually made of snakeskin and the florals that you see are actually tartan 
tartan. I don't know how you say that in English, but you know, it's like a fabric that you actually embroider by hand. So beautiful. The craftsmanship is incredible. This one will never go out of style. Another tote that I had to add to the list for you ladies that like a practical tote that's going to fit a lot of stuff is this Chanel because it has more detail. It has the chain. It has the top handle so you can carry it in a couple of ways. This one is $4,300. Back to Givenchy. Guys, I love Givenchy so much. I mean, their new collections, the new sweatshirts, the new t-shirts, everything is so gorgeous. Everything is beautiful. I want it all. So this bag is another bag from Givenchy that gets a lot of hate. Um, I have seen it featured in a couple of the luxury rose tags, you know, where people thought they were super ugly, but I like them. I mean, that's what fashion is about, right? You gotta do you, man. So this is the Givenchy Pandora bag. This is the structured version that just came out for the season with this gorgeous strap that says Givenchy all over it. You know, logos are super hot right now. The person to me that wears this bag is a person that likes Vetements, that likes Off-White, Number 21, all of these super hit brands that are coming on the market. So hey, if you think this is ugly, that's okay, but I think it's fabulous. This one is another backpack. This one is from YSL. When I saw this backpack, I thought this was a great alternative to the Chanel backpack. If you are obsessed with the backpacks, but you cannot spend three, four, five thousand dollars on a backpack, this, this YSL one is gorgeous and is $18.90. Now, if you are high maintenance and you want the real deal no i'm just kidding if you're high maintenance so am i but if you really want the chanel backpack i wanted to include this one that just came out and they released this one in the silver leather which i think is fabulous guys total bunch of possessed this one is 3300 now i had to include some crazy pieces to give you something to talk about, right? From Dolce Gabbana. I appreciate that they try to do something cool and out of the box. And they vary from like a thousand dollars to like sixteen hundred dollars, seventeen, depending on the model. But would you pay this amount of money for this? Like I feel like I could go to like Toys R Us. <laughs> and get something just like this for $19.99. I can't, like I'm sure it's very well made. I'm sure the details are amazing. But even if you're young, obviously I think this is ridiculous for a 44 year old like me. I would never pull this off. But even if I think about my 17 year old, you know, if I think about Crystal, I think this is ridiculous for her. Unless you are ultra rich and you want to buy a thousand dollar backpack for your five year old, I just think this is like a major no no. Now, changing gears to a couple of super whimsical bags. These are like fun out there collector's pieces. This first one is actually this rocket ship, which I think is so cute, but the price is $13,000, guys. The second one that I love that is way more realistic is from Dolce Gabbana, and is this bag that looks like a golden bar of chocolate. So much fun. I love whimsical bags. And this is a whimsical bag that doesn't look ridiculous. And the price is way better at 2100 bucks. And then the next two bags, oh my lord, to me, they look like wedding cakes. They both cost $8,000. Okay. Definitely collector's pieces. The first one is the greenhouse bag and look how gorgeous it has the windows. I love that it's white with details of gold. It's like you're carrying like a dollhouse in your hands, guys. And then the other one is the Baroque one, which is same deal. All of the detail, all of the scrolls. Now, the good thing about Dolce, guys, you can find their bags on sale at the end of the season. So. If you are willing to take a chance, I have seen most of the bags that I like from Dolce over the years on sale at the end of the season. Yes. I just bought a bag. Surprise! I just got a bag. I am waiting for it to be shipped for me. I finally made a decision, so the video will be coming up for you guys. But after this bag that I just got, this is the absolute next one on my list, which is the Petite Mal for Louis Vuitton. And although this look is not new, right? What I wanted to let you know is that Louis Vuitton released a new style that is actually slightly larger than the previous Petite Mal. And that is the only thing that was keeping me from buying the Petite Mal before. I could barely fit my 
my phone in it. I could barely fit my card holder. It was completely impractical. And I think they caught up to that and the Petite Mala has been a huge success. So they were smart enough to re-release it with a bit more space inside. Let's talk about the pricing on these babies. They are not cheap. They are $5,200 for this specific one, which is the one that I want. So if you're looking for the best of the best, I think this is like the it bag for Louis Vuitton right now. I also wanted to include some Miu Miu bags in my video. I think Miu Miu is a designer that is so underrated, guys. I think Miu Miu in general, all of their ready-to-wear, all of their shoes, all of their bags are very high fashion. I think these are gorgeous. They usually love to include crystal details on the, their bags, which I really appreciate. I love this one, you know, that has kind of like the strip on top of it. And then you have the big medallion, all made with crystals. And then you have the Miu Miu logo. The only thing with Miu Miu is that these specialty bags, they usually sell out like that, guys. Because, like I told you, the who's who of the fashion world, they just go for Miu Miu. This style that I'm showing you is $2,200. This next bag is from Gucci, and I thought it was gorgeous. It's called the Otilia bag fresh out the oven just came out and you guys know i do not like the bamboo but these bags are so pretty that even i couldn't resist this bag if you pay attention it comes in several different colors but the detail on the front of the bag it's all little bugs that are made of metal okay so these are metal bees metal cicadas they have crystal detail on them this bag is more on the expensive side 35 and I opened my video with Chanel and I'm gonna close with Chanel because I am a Chanel girl at heart. I think again this is a gorgeous classic forever bag. I love beige bags. You know I think light bags are so beautiful. They look just so wholesome and so clean and so timeless the price on this one is thirty five hundred dollars and man oh man if you want to spend some money on something that's going to make you look like a million dollars and that's going to last you forever grace kelly style this is it guys that's my roundup of fabulous bags for fall and winter i want to know which one was your absolute favorite out of everything that i showed you and which one was your least favorite out of this collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to give you guys ideas and keep you posted on what's hot out there since i do this anyway i always think it's fun to kind of build a selection to show you guys and hopefully give you some good ideas of things to put on your wish list thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you on the next video love you bye bye